Hi, I'm just getting myself set up here on Instagram as well. We are going to go live. Yeah, there we are. Let's just check the connection, make sure we are all set. And welcome to my kitchen. This is getting to be a habit. This is getting to be a habit. Hi, it's Tosca Reno here. You are in my kitchen. You've seen me in this kitchen a couple of times. Today I had a little extra technical and lighting help from my daughter, Kelsey. Shout out. <laughs> um, so, so happy Tuesday. Although I have to say to you, I sometimes don't know what day it is anymore because it's just so confusing out there. But I'm so happy that you've given me a couple of minutes of your time. And um, we are here together today to create a recipe. If you want to do it with me, great. Otherwise, you can just watch me sweat. No problem. I don't mind. <laughs> <clears throat> and we're going to make um, a meat alternative burger, so veggie burgers. So while I'm getting myself set up, a little bit of homework for you. First of all, I want to give me a thumbs up if you can hear me very well. I'd like to make sure that the volume and the sound is good. Oops, I'm just getting the, oh, there we need the volume way up on that. There we go. Hi, Instagram people over there. Instagram here, Facebook there. Um, and I'm doing you both live, so just uh, pay attention and, and hang in there. Um, if you could, please send some hearts, uh, send some thumbs up, send where you're listening from. And if you happen to be a replay listener, so you're watching me later on, I would love to hear that you're a replay listener. Um, go ahead and send me a couple of hearts and ask me questions. I will answer. Also, the other thing I'd love you to do is quick, tag somebody, bring them on into the kitchen with us and let them have some fun too. Um, I'm going to, for the Instagram audience, hello Instagram audience, there we go. I'm going to take my camera and take a little journey to the, um, there we go, there. And here is my kitchen chaos. So you're looking at chopped garlic, onions, my glasses. <laughs> I've got some toasted seeds and nuts here, rolled oats, chopped fresh parsley, duck eggs, some lovely spices, which we'll get to. Oh my goodness, so many things. Um, breadcrumbs, carrots, beans. So I'm going to turn that camera around. For those watching on Facebook, let me make sure I can get my technology right again. For those on Facebook, thanks for your patience here, you'll be able to follow along and don't worry, I will be posting the recipe. So let's just do a little sound check. Let's see how y'all are doing. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Nancy LaSalle. Hi, we've talked before. Ben Brook, Ontario. Welcome. Thank you so much for listening. A first timer. Thanks so much. I've been doing a couple of these um, cooking demos over the course of the quarantine, and I've had listeners from all over the globe. And actually, it's very exciting to me because... Um, it, it shows that there's, you know, something worth listening to, some lots of fun here, and um, I'm having fun too. I'm having fun too. So what we want to get to is eating less meat. Now, I'm not saying eating no meat at all, but I do love the idea of having plant-based alternatives. And uh, we did a, a little survey on the Toscarino.com website recently, and uh, the question was, would you be interested in more plant-based meals? Remember, I do have my vegetarian cookbook, so there are a lot of plant-based cooking and recipes in there. Uh, not vegan, vegetarian, I know there's a difference, but I love the terminology plant-based. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put some lovely chopped onion. The whole place smells like onion and garlic right now. I'm going to start by sauteing two fist-sized onions in a pan, and the pan, I'm just sort of dark over here, isn't it, in this corner. I might have to get my light technician to, to check my lights. But um, the, the onions are on the stove and I'm gonna cook them up first. And the reason for that is because garlic um, is very sticky and very sweet and it can burn very fast. So we don't wanna do that. We want to get those onions soft and translucent because we're gonna make a meat mixture based on lots of vegetables. It's a meat slash air quotes meat mixture. Um, while we're waiting for the onions to get fragrant and to saute, let me ask you how you're doing. Can you tell me what you've been doing with your time? Are some of you still working at home? 
uh, from home, I'm assuming. Um, I know in the United States, I want to send my blessings out to you. Um, I, I think that uh, the numbers have changed dramatically in the last couple of days. It seems like the story about this virus changes moment by moment. But I want to send my love and blessings. And also, I want to send a great deal of respect to um, all of the healthcare workers, people on the front line, people in, running essential services. Today, um, I did go to the grocery store. No, it wasn't a medical facility, but it's a pharmacy there. And I realized that you know people are taking risks by being out there serving the public. And I think a great shout out to all of you for doing that for the rest of us. Um, we, we will certainly be seeing you know another couple of weeks of these activities, so we have to find a lot of things to keep us happy and excited. All right, so the onions are, be, are getting nice and fragrant. I've got some good heat here. And uh, give them a couple of minutes, and now we're gonna throw in the garlic. And I put in four cloves of garlic. Now, um, that is not because I wanna give you garlic breath, Nope, it's because garlic and onion together are incredible for immune system, right? For immune system health. So, um, and when we heat them up, we release a lot of the aromatics that have a lot to do with our, our immune system. And I, I mentioned this on another one of my lives that you can actually um, support your immune system. You can't really boost it. Your immune system is already there, and, and sometimes your immune system will be compromised, as we're seeing with some of the folks who are uh, struggling with the virus, but you can do a lot to heal yourself. Your body has an entire pharmacy within it to heal itself. So I want to encourage you to follow the precautions that are being required of you with the hand washing. Don't forget to wash your thumbs. We say hands and we forget our thumbs and our fingers. I don't know why, but we do. Okay. So um, this pan, I think we're done. I'm gonna, it smells really good. And I've got my sauteed, there we go. See the kitchen witch chopped all that up. Everybody should get a kitchen witch. <laughs> I'm the kitchen witch, what can I say? Okay, so now that is your lovely fragrance base and you're gonna find a huge bowl. And I'll show you that, whoops, I'm off camera here, but there is a big bowl right here, believe it or not. There we go, I can see you, don't worry. <laughs> All right, and so I've got a bowl about this size, and this is where I'm gonna start building the layers of things that are going into it. It's a big bowl, isn't that a great bowl? Mm -hmm. All right, and that's where all that good stuff is going to go. So I don't know this recipe off by heart, that's okay. I mess around with recipes all the time. What goes in now? Oh, here we go, this is the, the bean portion. So what I did was I used my Cuisinart, my food processor, is it? Yes, it's Cuisinart. <laughs> Better make sure I get the right one. And I've pulsed the beans so that they're kind of like a coarse puree. So beans are an excellent source of protein, but of course you can't really, I'm gonna put those, that mush, that, uh, okay, so that's 19 ounces of black beans. I actually used a mix of uh, black beans and um, another sort of bean mix. And the reason I did that is because there was only one can of black beans because people are getting wise to the fact that uh, beans are an excellent protein source. So right now in the bowl, <laughs> hi guys, hi. Hi Nancy, upstate New York. Anna, hi Anna, Zuzek. Uh, she says she has several of my books. I'm just mixing this mushy mush up together. Smells good, doesn't look great. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Fair Denise, I've seen you on a couple of times. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is smelling good. So now it's a little bit pasty in there. That by no means looks like a burger just yet. We have to add some more things. But it's lovely having the, um, the, the beans as a protein source. And especially when you can't find meat so much anymore, which we can't. I mean, I'm lucky uh, I can still find some from Howard the Butcher, my local butcher here in Caledon. But you know, it's not for everybody and beans are an excellent source. So make sure you have a stock of canned and dried beans in your kitchen, in your pantry. They will come in super, super handy. Okay, what's the next ingredient? Well, we've got some spices. So um, a little bit of oregano, so dried oregano and the, you know, oregano oil is so good for healing so much in our throats and uh, fighting off disease and viruses. So, and I like to um, go ahead and well, 
a big enough kitchen here at the moment, but don't forget that you can rub the spice between your hands and to release the fragrance. So go ahead and do that. And then I, so that's a teaspoon of that. Don't worry, I'll, I'll post the recipe. And I have also a teaspoon of basil. All of those fragrant herbs are so amazing and they have wonderful healing properties. And I'm now going to add some, um, this is, what is this? Uh, Herbe de Provence. So that goes in. Okay, you should see the mess I'm making in my kitchen. Now it's beginning to smell good in there, which I truly love. Um, when I start smelling those fragrances that you can, you've got all the flavors coming, the garlic, the onions, the spices, the herbs, that just makes me feel like I'm putting a lot of really good things into my recipe. So here is some chopped fresh parsley. I got organic and listen, this is what I thought. So I was at the grocery store and I'm thinking, all right, I don't know who's touched the parsley. You're really supposed to buy the very first thing you pick up nowadays. You can't be squishing the avocados or anything. So I thought, well, okay, I'm gonna take this bunch of parsley, but as soon as I get home, I'm gonna wash it in a bath of apple cider vinegar. And I did that with all my vegetables because you don't really know where this virus is hiding or living. So as long as I can wash things in a good clean water bath with apple cider vinegar, I just put in, in a sink, maybe six inches of cold water, all my vegetables, and then a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. But here I have about a cup of chopped fresh parsley. So I'm gonna put that into the mixture. Um, it always looks nice to have a green in amongst those other kind of darker, browner, very not colorful vegetables, right? Okay, so, or ingredients, I should say. All right, so now we've got the parsley in there and we're going to add a little bit of oil. Where's my oil? So I got a beautiful organic, can you see that? It's, it's called silver leaf and it's an herb oil. Okay, once again, the recipe will be posted, so don't worry. Hi, so someone from Italy has joined us. Hello, Frepan. I welcome you. I welcome you. Hello, and I see my friend Maria Gomez. Hello, my friend. I know everybody's asking for the aprons. I guess I need to go in the apron business. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so nice to have you. We're just going to put a little drizzle of oil in here. Um, again, it called for sesame oil. Couldn't find sesame oil. I'm borrowing and creating and leveraging off of a beautiful recipe from Whitewater Cooks in Canada here out in the Rocky Mountains. And they said this was their best, best ever veggie burger recipe. So I'm going with that. So, so far we've got a lot of amazing nutrients in here. Now we're gonna add a really cool mixture of things. We're gonna add a half cup of almonds roasted and chopped and with that came one cup of sunflower seeds. So I have roasted and chopped that whole business. Look at that. And I used one of those, do you remember the days when we had those slap chopper things? <laughs> That's what I did, it was such fun. So we're gonna add some really good fats and fiber from the nuts, also protein. So that's now going in the mix. Wow, we're adding a lot of stuff. There are a number of ingredients, but if you have a well-stocked eat clean pantry. This really shouldn't be too hard to put together. Let's have a look at the mixture. Look at that. It's starting to come together pretty soon. I feel like I'm going to have to get my hands in there. Let me see what it smells like. Oh yeah, nutty, herby. Um, mm, really nice. I'm liking this. We need a little dusting of salt. So I've already had the conference, my magic cupboard over there. <laughs> I just reach in and things come out. Um, so uh, I've already told you about the, uh, the reason why I like to do pink salt and the reason for it, if the first time listeners, thanks for joining in, Tosca Reno here. Uh, the pink Himalayan salt comes from a cave and has no microplastics in it. Ocean salts these days often have, I know it's a lot of noise. <laughs> Um, ocean salts have a lot of uh, microplastics, which is a real shame because I do love refined sea salt. Hey, Maria's telling me she's working from home. My goodness, I didn't quite catch all of that message. It went by really fast, but I, you know what? All of you working in the medical field, continuing with your lives, being brave and courageous, joining the, the online, I don't know, there's like a banquet of things we can do today. So I, I'm so grateful for the time you're giving me. Um, okay, now we're this is fun. So, oh, now we have to put the breadcrumbs in. Now, let's have a talk about bread. 
um, <clears throat> I pureed or, or processed these in my, my Cuisinart as well. And we needed, we need three cups. So I tried to get it as fine as I could. And it's sourdough. I went with sourdough, not my sourdough, because my sourdough was a disaster. I don't know if you caught my little <laughs> live on Saturday, but I had a, I had a, a sourdough fail. I was humbled by sourdough and I called it my bread time story. Wah -wah. <laughs> okay, this is three cups of sourdough breadcrumbs. That's going in the bowl. Now you're probably thinking, wow, Tosca, this is a huge recipe. Really, this is gonna be a lot for any one person. These freeze beautifully. So I highly recommend making a whack of these, especially now you've got a little bit of time. And just go ahead and freeze them up in patties. You don't have, you can cook them and freeze them perfectly. All right, now we have to get it a little bit wet. So let's talk, it's always good when we're wet, ladies. Yep, uh, sorry, I probably shouldn't have said that, but anyway. <laughs> All right, so now I have a half cup of tamari. So the, 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 they call for soy, but I like tamari because tamari is a more of a naturally fermented uh, soy, and that's why I don't put a lot of salt in this recipe. You, you, I just need a couple of scridges because um, the soy is very salty on its own. So we finally are getting some wet ingredients in there. Um, how are we doing? Oh, now we do the eggs, and again, a little conversation about eggs. Now these eggs probably look a little different to you. If you're very observant, you will see. <laughs> How are we doing so far? Is everybody good? I know it's Tuesday, right? It's Tuesday. We're making burgers on a Tuesday afternoon. Um, duck eggs. So we, we uh, our local grocer was having trouble getting regular chicken eggs. So I think I'm gonna just mix these up into a bowl first. And I got duck eggs. And you know what? I experienced those for the first time. See, I just chucked things in my sink in Hawaii and they were amazing. They were so good. And I love the color. I love the nutritional value. So I'm gonna crack five duck eggs into, there we go. That one squirted out on me. It's okay, it's an egg. So some of the eggs are smaller than others. Not all duck eggs are big, but that's okay. That's okay. So now we've got the eggs in, and I'm just going to give them a little, a little whisk. I was going to do it with my, there we go, whisk in the drawer. Hi, Lindsay, Nancy, Anna. Don't forget, hashtag, if you like something, if you want to learn something else. Um, okay, so we're just going to whisk up those eggs, right? A little whisk, get them soupy because we need some liquid mushy mush in here. There we go. Now we're almost coming to a time where, I better get my pan going because we want to start hitting that, uh, the cooking portion of the food demo. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're doing right now. There's what's happening in the bowl. We've got that mixture, we've got eggs and pureed beans, we've got nuts and seeds, we've got a crunch factor, we've got greens, we've got herbs. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit tempted to throw in a handful of flax seeds right now because I think that might be quite yummy. Um, and what else has to go in here? Yeah, I might just do that. Um, okay, now we have to do some grated carrot. I told you there was going to be a lot of vegetables in here. Are you excited? There's a lot of vegetables in here. So it's calling for how many cups? Two cups. I have no idea why I created almost four, but I can use this. It's okay. I can use it in my, let's say, uh, carrot cake recipe. So we're going to, I'm just going to use my, my hands. You can see I'm one of those cooks. It's okay. I washed them about a hundred times. And I was singing, what is it? Happy birthday. What's your favorite hand washing song? <laughs> Okay, grated organic carrot. I, I took the peel off because for some reason, organic carrot, it doesn't matter what kind of carrot, if you um, cook the carrot with the peel on, it can be a little bitter. So I usually take it off. And oh, we have to add, uh, what do we have to add? Now we're adding two cups of oats. So gluten-free rolled oats, not quick cooking, doesn't have to be, okay? And in that goes. It is a whack of ingredients. It's a real big list of ingredients. Okay, I'm sorry, I gotta break down. I have to put a sprinkle of black seeds in. 
It's good for me. It's also good for my hormones <laughs> and yours. <laughs> okay, so, um, and now we're just gonna give it a big old mix. And we're going to have basically a kind of mixture that will, the, the oats are gonna dry it up a bit. The eggs will glue it all together. You're gonna have a ton of fiber. And this is supposed to make 12 patties. I'm sort of feeling like they might be uh, a good size patty, right? Or you can maybe make smaller ones if you want to, but this is what your mixture is gonna look like and it's gonna hold together pretty well. Now, let me, I'm not gonna eat it, don't worry, but I'm gonna smell it and I'm gonna just feel what it's like in my hands. So it compacts pretty well, but the trick with the cooking will be, and let me just get my dredging bowl ready, hold on. Hands, 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 and clean towel. You can't have enough towels. And I'm going to throw some, where's my oil? Here it is, here it is. Where's the kitchen witch when you need her? And I have my oven at a very low heat and I've got a baking sheet in there because when I've cooked up one of the patties, what I'm going to do is just gonna finish it in the oven and keep it nice and hot. So now I'm going to measure about a third of a cup. I forgot to put my measuring cup out. I'll be right back. In the meantime, can you just tell me which part you're enjoying? Have you learned something? And I'll be right back, I promise. <laughs> with, with my third of a cup measure. There it is. Also klutzy. There we go. See, this is not an overproduced cooking show. Let's make this, yep, it's a third. So what we're gonna do here, oh, and this is another little trick. Remove your jewelry, let's just take that off, and put some olive oil in your hand. There we go. It's also nice and lovely for your, there, moisturizing. It's gonna get a little messy. So pack a third cup measure with the mixture and, and compact it. Like give it a good squish, right? There we go. And then we've got a hot pan right here. Pack it into a little patty like that. And with any luck, it will sizzle. It's sizzling, okay? Can you see that in the pan? Look at that, right? And we're gonna get that going. And you're gonna continue the process with the mixture until you've used up all of it. And this should make 12. Honestly, I feel like it's gonna make more. I don't know if I went a little bit crazy with maybe the carrot. Oh, I forgot the dredging. Let's, let's, dred <laughs> let's dredge one now, okay. My mother actually taught me this trick. <laughs> okay, there, now I've dredged it. See, so that will probably help give it a nice little crispy coating. So that's gonna go in the pan. We can compare, we can compare how it worked out. Um, suffice to say that manicures have gone out the window. We don't care about fake nails anymore. <laughs> oh, hi, Mama Mags. We are, she said, I came in late. What are we making? I am making veggie burgers based off of the recipe from Whitewater Cooks. And I've made a few changes to the recipe. I will be posting it. And basically it is a meat alternative burger option. Sometimes we won't be able to, as we're already seeing here, it's difficult to get um, meat already. And also many of us want to up our, our um, eat clean game as far as eating more vegetables, more plants. So this is a plant-based burger alternative. And we are just having a ball with this. I'm gonna wipe my hands a little bit, be right back. And it's still gonna be a bit messy, but this is what it looks like in pan. Oops, can you see that? There, it's a little bit, the light, the light. Where's the light? Okay, and oh my goodness, look. Oh, it's looking gorgeous. Look at that. I love it. That was the undredged one. Let us, oh, I'm gonna flip. Oh, come on, these look beauty. Okay, this was undredged. This is dredged and this one I just haven't flipped yet. And I have to say, I think it's looking marvelous, marvelous. So now you can see how easily these will not only cook up, but they will also keep beautifully. Now I'm gonna show you um, the buns. These are a sourdough whole grain bun that I picked up at my local grocer this morning. Can you see how dirty my hands are? Yeah, <laughs> but they, 
They smell so good. So you can just make the burger as you would a burger, dress it, toast these up, and there's so much nutrition in that plant-based burger that you can't go wrong. It's gonna be fantastic and delicious. So I want to thank you all for <laughs> following along with Tosca and her Kitchen Witch. <laughs> and um, hopefully you'll give this recipe a try. I'd love you to post a picture if you have tried it and let me know what you think about the flavor. And I would love you to come back. Tomorrow morning I'm going to be doing a whole body workout uh, with no equipment, but I'll make you sweat. That's one thing I can always guarantee. And I'll ho hopefully I will also uh, help you with your smiles and your attitude. I know that we are going through unprecedented experiences. We're actually, I feel, creating history together. This is history. And um, we, we all have our part to play. Each part is incredibly important. We all must adhere to the rules. Um, we all must do our best to stay positive. But I honestly have to say, if you're having a day where it just feels like, mm, no, I can't. And I think you need to just own your feelings. We're going to have a roller coaster of emotions. All of them are correct. It doesn't matter. There's no right and wrong here. This is, you know, the last time something of this magnitude happened, I believe it was the Spanish flu. And um, there were a lot of positive things we could do to help ourselves. Not the least of which is just the simple hand washing, um, nourishing ourselves with these, these kinds of beautiful foods that take care of our soul and give us the nutrients fire up our immune system and this is what i think is the incredible piece there's so much we can do with our hearts and our minds and our dinner plates so i want to give you all my love and my blessings write to me i will write back to you and know that the reason i do this is because a little emotional sorry because your wellness is my passion i have been at one time someone who was not well at all and I healed myself by eating clean and so it's really important for me to share this passion with you because I know how to correct it so again my passion is your wellness I send you love and blessings and please share this with someone that you think would enjoy it too all the best to you for the rest of your day go on to make it a good one loads of love bye